hello and welcome back guys today i am going to show you how we can join two or multiple text into one single text like in this case i have five different columns that is prefix first name middle name last name and suffix and we'll combine all these text and we'll make it in one single cell in this case prefix column which is present in b2 and will uh, join all together with, with first name middle last and suffix and will create one complete name so to do that i have to i'll be uh, using the concat uh, or concatenate so to do that uh, let me show you the first uh, way that we can achieve the result to do that we have to use the equal or plus sign so in this case i'll be using equal sign and if i put concat c o n c a t you can see that two different is name is there one is concat another one is concatenate uh, concatenate and concatenate concatenate has a triangle shape and this means that microsoft can remove at any point of time but as soon as it is available in your uh, excel you will be using uh, if you use either one of it it will give the same accurate result so in this case i'll be choosing the concat and if i hit the tab key it will be asking for the text one so i'm passing the prefix which is present in b2 uh, and i'll put comma and i'll pass the second text as well and if i close this right now i'll be able to see that only mr and showman that has come together without any space so to insert a space i have to use a comma and in between uh, these two texts i'll be inserting another comma uh, and in between these two commas i'll be inserting the space since space is a text i i'll be wrapping this with double inverted comma so this double inverted comma with with the two different cell reference number it will create the proper space see we can we have achieved our uh, result with proper space so in this case i'll be doing for the rest of the text as well like for the middle name last name and suffix so i'll be passing them one by them one by one and with uh, one white space let me quickly do it for the uh, all the columns and we'll achieve the complete full name see we have got we have received our desired result and if i drag this it will apply for all of the rows so here in this case we can see that row number five six there is some unnecessary space and uh, to remove that I'll be using the trim function but if you see in the seventh row as well and sixth row as well and uh, compared to other rows there is some extra spaces are there so these are inconsistent and we have to remove this extra space so to do that I'll be using the trim function so let me write a trim and close the bracket hit the enter key and let me drag this and it will apply for all the all the rows and it will remove all the extra spaces by this way we have achieved our desired result the complete full name and this is the first way that we have seen today and let me explain you the another way that is the second way there is a text join let me remove this and equal sign text join and it's asking for delimit i need to use space inside the double quotation comma and true is uh, is if there is any uh, space in between two uh, or any of the one of the cell we have to use a true 
we have another argument that is false but in this case i'll be using true because i want to ignore if there is any space in any one of the selected cells it will ignore them and it will concatenate whichever text is present side by side with one single space and it will uh, ignore if there is more than one simultaneously like two or three spaces are there it will automatically ignore them and it will give the proper syntax so i'll be using true comma i'll be passing the text one one by one uh, this is the text one this is the text two with comma and this is the text three so i'll be using till total five uh, num uh, five cells and i'll be come uh, like i'll hit this and another way i can i can give the entire range that is from b2 to uh, f2 and if i uh, hit the enter button it will give the same result and if i drag it it will work smoothly for other cells as well so that's the text join and i'll be using another method that is concatenate uh, that concatenation will be performed using ampersand sign so i'll be choosing the cell reference and i will use con uh, sorry ampersand sign and the second text in this case also it has uh, joined together without any space so i'll be using another ampersand sign uh, and in between two ampersand sign i'll be putting the space but i'll be putting inside double quotation uh, since it is a text let me do that and if i see now it has given proper way with one single white space uh, so i'll do same thing for the rest of the values for the d2 e2 and f2 uh, with one one space in in between two text so i'll uh, wrap it up with double quotation let me quickly do this for rest of the values like rest of the cells almost done so hit enter and if i drag it it will do for all but again it has come in proper space uh, so i'll be wrapping this entire text using the trim function and hit the enter and drag it perfectly it has come our desired result so that's uh, how we can uh, do it uh, in three different ways let me know in the comment box which is uh, which one is your best and preferred method that you are uh, using or you are going to use uh, till then take care bye bye and see you with another new exciting video